something's telling me um, to talk about employment and having a job and this is another another uh, topic it can be a big big topic and I'm just doing these kind of bite size uh, bite size recordings as a way I'm hoping to be encouraging to someone that needs an encouraging word and I'm just sharing kind of life lessons and some stories um, and maybe someone can relate to or you have an opinion about it that's fine um, so in this particular one I wanted to, I mean there's different aspects of employment we can talk about and let me lead with knowing that some people do struggle to get into a job or they're struggling to keep a job and I know there's a skills gaps and, and it's not easy. So I'm uh, well aware of that. Some of the story I'm going to share now is more on the side of someone that has been employed or is able to get a job. Uh, we should definitely reach out and try to encourage those who are unemployed to skill up so that they have the skills to be able to get a job and to encourage skill development. Um, an opportunity so that they can go apply for a job, whether it's soft skills or technical skills or um, the, the hands-on practical skills they need for that particular position. So I definitely am aware of that and encourage upskilling anyone who needs it so that they can be employed. So the story I wanted to tell today and the topic I wanted to talk about today is... Um, kind of centered around what a job means to me. And that's a question. If you ask yourself, what does a job mean to you? And uh, I'm coming from the perspective of, uh, from, for me personally, which I am employed now, and I've, I've worked a number of different jobs. Uh, for me, while a job is uh, fulfilling different things at that point in time for me. A job for me is just a job. A job isn't my life. Um, I've been fired from a couple jobs and I've, I wanted to mention that on here and, um, and some for good reason. Um, and I've done well at a number of jobs, um, and, and, and for good reason too. So, I thought a, an interesting story is if, if I talked about why was I fired from my jobs, that might give you an indicator of um, maybe something you could apply to your own self and perspective. But I, I just want to tell you that the job that I'm working at, the employer that I'm at, as much as they're giving me an opportunity to work for them, I'm giving them an opportunity to work with me. So I see it as a two-way negotiation. I don't need you uh, more than you. I don't need you more than you need me. We're equal. If I sign up for a position, uh, as long as I'm fulfilling my role uh, in that position, then that's when I, I meet my goals and, and all that. And um, you don't control me uh, when I join your company because you have an agenda and all that. Forget, scrap all that stuff. A job is just a job from my perspective. Who I'm with at the end is my myself and I have to manage my own mechanism for earning money. So anyway, back to getting fired. I remember the first time and I had a number of jobs um, and things I did to earn money before going into college, but uh, when I was at college, my first year, I had a, a job at a pizza place. And the funniest thing is, you know, this job, it was, looking back, it was like an ideal job to have. I think the, the schedule I started, it was like 1.30 p.m. in the afternoon. And it went till sometime in the evening. Um, it was a great place to work. People were great. Uh, you got free food, free pizza, and and, and uh, sandwiches and things. It was great. The problem is, why did I get fired? Such a great job, uh, great to have. The money was good, and the, the funny thing is, I got fired for being late. Now, thinking about that, it was. And why was I late? 
Why was I late to a job that starts at one thirty? I was just waking up because I was hanging out too much. I uh, had a lot of fun. And I remember sometimes getting to bed late in that morning. Uh, and I would literally wake up late and get to the job late. So one day I showed up and uh, the owner of that pizza restaurant kind of called me in the back and said, hey, listen, I know you're a good guy and we respect you, we like you, you know, you, you do good work when you're here, uh, but you're just not here enough on time. And um, for that reason, uh, we've decided we're gonna we we're gonna let you go. You can't work here anymore. And I was like, oh man, I mean, I mean, I'm willing to try to come on time. He said, no, we've we've thought about it, and uh, you know, we're gonna let you we're gonna let you go. So that day, I I remember I uh, I said, okay, I walked out. Oh well, lost another lost a job. That was the first time I got fired from a job, and lost a job. Walked out thinking, okay, now I need a new source of income. Now I'm going to have to figure out a certain way uh, to get an income. Maybe on the next job I shouldn't be late. I should try not to be late. Uh, and shortly thereafter, I started looking for looking for jobs. This was at college on campus. And eventually I found another job, and I did pretty good. Uh, and, you know, I learned along the way. Uh, and then as the career, as my career progressed, uh, I've been, you know, managed out and and, and uh, laid off. But the 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 theme, the level of encouragement that I wanted to give someone today is, that, hey, if you've been fired or let go for different reasons, you can get back up, and there's plenty of jobs out there, depending on uh, what it is that you want to work in, which which line of area of industry you want to work in, and the skill that you have, uh, you can you can find something to do where you don't have to compromise your principles. Like I said, I've been let go a couple times, and thank God I found another another role, which is most of the time has been much better uh, than the one I was at and more aligned to what I, what it is I like to do. So, um, you know, in my mindset is now, and I'll share this probably on another, there's a lot I can talk about employment. I'll share this on another recording. But my mindset now is, you know, I'm untouchable, meaning I go into a job, um, I know, you let me know what my role is, I'll do what what I'll I'll do the role but I'll I'll be doing my own kind of uh I bring things to the table and um you know I have certain things that I I don't tap dance and bow down and I don't run if I see a manager coming that's important I, for me everybody's the same and you know that's helped me to not only get jobs and and be respected at jobs it's also got me in trouble at jobs and and you know what? That's okay. I keep going. I keep getting skilled up myself. Keep that confidence and keep believing in myself. And it's been getting done.